All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Kerbal Wind, which is being made by a forum user, Michael. And it is wonderful. Now recently we've been looking at a lot of part mods and I wanted to look at something that changes more of the game rather than the parts. And well, I found this lovely mod which adds in to the physics of this game, which uh, let's be honest, the physics are already a little wonky, but nonetheless it adds into it wind, which is fun, but also very deadly for me considering how awful of a pilot I am. Adding in a cross breeze just makes my flying even worse. So much worse. Now one thing I do want to mention right off the bat is that currently there is in development a Kerbal Weather System mod, which adds in not just wind, but also snow and rain, and just it's more of a weather simulation to add into the game, but it is very, very much in development currently. Whereas this one has this, this mod, basically the maker decided to take just a slice of that mod, polish it up, and bring it out as, an, as a release. To, Kind of give people a taste of what eventually will hopefully be the weather system of the game and i i love it because well like like i've said many times in the past i i like to play with released mods rather than still in development ones because you never know how they're going to change in the near future and yeah well yeah this one is an official release a very it's and it's basically a uh, polished version of the wind system from the hopeful eventual weather system mod adding into the game and another thing i should mention it is a required dependency that you have the ferrum aerospace research mod as well to run this uh that is uh, the mod that basically allows wind to exist in this game so you definitely need it on hand to play around with this mod at all but since it doesn't add any parts we don't need to look in the vab or space plane hangar let's go out to this little land sail ship that i made on the runway here to uh show off the mod a bit and well teach you how wind works in this game. Now you'll notice it came up on a little window here and that always seems to happen even when you do add it to the toolbar here. As you can see, we have the good old Blizzy's toolbar and uh, we do have this lovely little button which just shows or hides the wind uh, GUI here. Uh, but even if you have it on or off, whenever you start up a new ship, this seems to pop up. I don't know exactly why, but it does. And, well, it's a beautiful, beautiful little interface. You'll see it says currently no wind, and that's because we have this button right here in the center clicked, which is, well, no wind. And what you do, how you use this mod, is you set the speed of the wind by clicking the plus or minus, or of course holding it to get better speeds more quickly. And that's, you set it by meters per second, and then you click whichever direction it is you want the wind to be coming from. So if you want an easterly wind, you just click that. Westerly, northerly, southerly, whatever, and no wind is clicked in the center. Now I currently have the brakes on on this thing, but let's first disable the motors on this little craft so that you guys don't think I am just moving it on my own. There we go. And a nice little 15 meter per second wind. Turn off the brakes, and this ship should start to move forward. There it goes. A little slow build up, and it will continue to build up to the speed of 15 meters per second. And uh, yeah, it is being pushed by nothing but wind. And if we want to slow down the craft, just turn on a westerly wind that will start to slow it down. And yeah, there we go. We just do that to control this baby. And you can see if we increase the wind speed, we'll pick up speed a lot more quickly. And of course, it'll reach a much higher top speed. And if you wanted, you could always add in other directions. Like if suddenly when you wanted this easterly wind to become a northerly wind, it should start turning the vehicle and eventually may flip it. I don't know if a 30 meter per second wind would, but as you can see, we are starting to turn to the right. So that wind is affecting it. And if, well, we let's see how much of a wind it would take to knock this baby over. Just keep on increasing it. 
And... Come on. Come on. My god, we're already at 90 meters per second. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and it's off and away and exploding. Oh my god, look at it fly. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. You gotta love wind. So yeah, that's what you can do with wind. Now, of course, if you're a sane person, you could just turn on a slight wind. So, oh yes, yes, I know. I know that it's still going. Uh, you could turn on a slight wind and uh, try and land a plane with it to add a little bit more difficulty or a bit more difficulty to your rockets, etc. It could be quite interesting. But let's uh, revert to launch on this one so we don't have to go back to the space center and click things. As I do have, oh, it reset down here. Oh, let's first turn this wind speed down, way down. Because besides this little ship, I made another ship that's out in the ocean as another potential thing that you could use this mod for. Now, one thing I've always loved trying to make in this game, but I've never been very good at, is... Oh, darn, it's too close. Okay, we are going to have to go to the Space Center. Well, it's boats. I love boats. It always amazes me the cool things people can make on the water out here. And so I've made a little sailboat. It's not very good. As a matter of fact, it's ugly as sin. And um, <laughs> not exactly the most beautiful of things, is it? And it also leans to one side. But I've used some solar panels to hopefully create our mast. And my thinking is I have them bound to the one and two buttons so I can open and close them at will to hopefully maybe control the ship a little. Now I know they're kind of going to angle up at the sun because that's what solar panels are wont to do. But it still should add some uh, wind resistance there. So let's just try a nice little five mile per hour westerly wind. And we are moving forward. Oh, though we are... Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to close that one. I didn't want to close that one. Ah, uh, we're rolling. Okay. <laughs> Stopped it before we rolled in it completely. All right, let's open up this one. Oh, I didn't mean to start a northerly wind either. All right, back to easterly. We are drifting. Yes, we are drifting, but we are moving at 3.4 meters per second. Not exactly the most um, majestic of sailboats ever, but it is a functioning sailboat. Technically, not working at all how I hoped it would, but if you were a much, much better ship creator than myself, you could use this mod to make an actual proper sailboat, and with the variety of different mods that exist out there for boat things, you could make quite a cool little sailing ship and sail the seven seas. Actually, does, does Kerbal have seven, or Kerbin rather, have seven seas? I have no clue how many seas it has, but yes, I love this wind mod. Not only can it add some difficulty to landings, but it it makes it so you can create some fun, wacky ships to, you know, sail around or make a powered ship on the land that is just completely powered by the wind. And it there's just a lot of possibilities to it in my mind, if you know what you're doing. Obviously, I don't. <laughs> and hopefully one day the full weather system mod will come out of in development and be released and add in all sorts of other cool things. But for now, DeMichael has given us a lovely just little snippet of it in the oh, Kerbal Wind mod. And yeah, it's, it's fun. If you would like to give it a try for yourself, you can uh, follow the link in the description to go and download it. And uh, yeah, I hope you do. It's very, very fun. And I, of course, also hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now time to see how fast we can get this boat going before it destroys itself. Not very quick at all. Well, actually, oh my, it's, oh, oh, nope, there it goes, it exploded. And we died at about 65 meters per second. Ha, ah, good times. Later, everyone.